There is a new AI video startup called Happier Today on the podcast. I'm going to break down exactly what they're doing. They just raised a round of funding, and I want to show you some actual demos of their platform in action. So if you are listening to this, that's cool. But if you want to see some of these in action and not just have me describe them, you can watch the YouTube or watch this over on Spotify that shows the U- or that shows the uh, video for this as well. So let's get into the podcast. So I really believe that video is the next frontier in AI. You've heard me say this a lot of times, and we've recently seen some pretty solid validation of this with OpenAI coming out with Sora. You know, this thing is so powerful of an AI video generation tool. They say like, you know, they're like, here's all of our demos. We don't know how to release this because, you know, I think they know people will misuse it and they're going to get bad PR and there's negative consequences and all this kind of stuff. So um, we know this is the next wave. We know the technology is there. And so it's at this point, you know, we're just waiting to see how to use it. Now, there are a number of tools that have been out kind of dabbling in this. OpenAI Sora really, I think, took the cake. And there is a new player in this space that for a number of reasons I'll list, I think is going to be a serious player in this. So Happier is this new AI video startup. Um, they just came out of Stealth. They've raised $13.8 million in seed funding from Octopus Ventures. Um, And really the whole idea here is that they're planning on, um, you know, challenging all of the other uh, video, you know, all the other video platforms. So what they're doing is essentially going text to video. They have some really impressive demos and you can actually get on there. I've been playing around with this and use it, which is amazing because I absolutely, you know, it's my pet peeve um, when you see an amazing demo like Sora and then it's like, you can't actually go on and test it. There's a bunch of big influencers like Marcus Brownlee or other people that they're on. They're allowed to go like test it out a bit, but like, you know, the average person doesn't. So that always drives me a little bit crazy just because, you know, I want to get my hands on the technology. And so with um, Happier here, I'm excited to say that you actually can go and, yeah, you know, give this a test run. So what I did want to say um, is giving a little bit of background on Happier. It was actually founded by some ex DeepMind researchers. So Yishu Mayo, that's the CEO, and Yu Wang um, is uh, the other founder. And this is actually based in London. So the startup has raised, I think, a grand total, right? Like I said, in their seed, it's like 13 million, but they've actually raised a total of $19 million in funding. Um, so, you know, a little bit more probably from their pre seed. Um, right now, the platform is essentially letting you generate high quality videos from text, right? So something like Runway or Pika or what I'm assuming, you know, Sora is going to do in the future. You can create videos either in SD or HD quality. Um, if you do HD quality, it's limited to two seconds and SD is four seconds. So obviously there's other platforms that let you generate much longer. You know, OpenAI Sora famously is letting you generate like a minute long video. Um, but I'm assuming, you know, this this company's only raised $19 million. Uh, they're getting people to test this out. And so they're just letting you generate shorter clips at the moment. And in addition, I kind of feel like if you're only able to generate something that's like two seconds, <laughs> maybe there's less likely that you can abuse this or, you know, people could use it for deep fakes that are as, I don't know, as controversial. So in any case, um, they're early you know, some early testing that I've been doing on all of this um, shows that the HD is definitely not as good as OpenAI Sora. Um, It doesn't allow you to extend video generation. Um, This is a feature that is, you know, planned for the future. Um, So I think that's going to be really cool, right? Where you put a video in and you get it to kind of extend and make the video longer Um, or other kind of cropping tools that we've seen from a bunch of these different kind of uh, AI startups where, you know, For example, Midjourney lets you add like to the edge of a video. So like something like this, you could maybe have it like zoom out and show a bigger perspective. Um, So there's a bunch of really cool tools that are kind of being announced other places. We're not seeing that here yet, but I'm sure they're going to have some exciting stuff in the future. So talking about what I was actually able to do, I went on to Happier um, and I said, you know, generate a man in his 20s in a podcast studio covering AI news. Um, And it was able to generate... Uh, a video for me. Now, what I will say is, you know, it's a guy in his 20s, he's in a podcast studio. It's only a couple seconds long, so it's not very long. Um, One thing I noticed is there's like something kind of in front of the guy's arm that's not 100% sure what it is, but it looks like it's kind of blocking or cutting off his hand a little bit funny. So it it seems like they might have some of their same hand issues, or maybe it's just, you know, the, the way that this was generated. What I will say is, you know, covering tech news, there's a dude, he's got like three monitors in front of him. You could see some like, you know, technology and lights in the background. The lighting's super good. He's got a microphone. He's got headphones, which I guess doesn't really make sense for him to have a microphone and headphones, but whatever. I'm sure I could specify what I want. 
Um, it looks like his headphones are glowing. Anyways, it's actually like a pretty good composition of a video that I'm impressed with. Um, it's not perfect, his eyes are not perfect. I would say, you know, the quality may not be perfect. But what I wanna say is with $19 million raised, um, and you know, they just raised, you know, their big $13 million round, this is incredibly impressive. This is not easy technology to build these, um, you know, these videos. And so I'm really, really impressed. They let you do a couple things. They let you animate your image so you can upload an image and have it animated. Um, they let you, you know, do the text to prompt. They let you um, do a bunch of different things that I think are really interesting. And then of course, extending your video is, you know, extend the duration of a video with one click is something that's coming soon. So. Overall, they do have a lot of really impressive video samples. Um, what I'll say is like, sometimes when I generate something that's not great and I perfect the prompt and then it's a little bit better. So when you see their, their like demos, they're actually really impressive. Now, this is kind of similar to what you're seeing with OpenAI Sora, where OpenAI Sora, all of the videos are like amazing and they're like, look, we didn't edit any of these videos. This is literally how it was generated. Um, but at the same time, it's like they could have clicked regenerate like 20 times and perfected the prompt to wait till it was a good output. So like just because it it's, you know, I mean, it doesn't mean these things are perfect every time. What I will say is despite my video not being like incredible, people have obviously played with these prompts and have created videos that literally look incredible. So um, all sorts of, you know, great examples. There's ones with astronauts. There's ones with people walking through hallways. There's ones with like a whole bunch of people at a masquerade ball or like a ghost floating outside a house or like historical ones of a whole army marching on a castle, uh, you know, a cat with a lollipop and, and fish in the background. All of these I think are really amazing. And I think that we're gonna get to a place where, you know, there's just some really, really incredible AI video generation tools. And where all of this goes, what is the future for all of this? Two major things and trends I see happening in the future. Number one is everyone's gonna be able to, you know, direct your own movies. I've been saying this for ages, um, but yeah, you'll be able to make your own movies. You'll be able to create some really impressive things. Some people will create some, you know, really amazing stuff with this. But the other thing that I think is important is that this is gonna take a ton of compute to run these models. This is a, a lot more compute than just a text model or other things. And so I think uh, we're gonna need to solve a lot of problems, including uh, cheaper energy um, to bring the cost down on these things, and you know, building out more, you know, more chips, more infrastructure to run all of this. I think um, there's a lot of changes that will be made in the future. I'm, I'm looking at this one video that I saw generated on their platform, which is so cool. It's like a house that is like flooded. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff like underwater in the house. Like, uh, it's just incredible how it can make this. It's just such a fascinating idea. It gives me so many ideas for like, I wanna like make a whole movie out of just this concept. And in fact, I'm sure at some point when you can do video inputs on ChatGPT, I could feed this little video snippet in and be like, generate me a whole movie based off of, you know, what's happening in this crazy looking scene. The the, the prompt for the, the video that I'm looking at is a room slightly flooded with a time lapse of it drying out. Um, anyways, it looks amazing. I don't know where, it, you know, how it generated this or where it came up with, but just so many fantastical videos, um, people, and just incredible stuff, like a wedding in India with crazy things falling down, someone surfing in slow motion. Um, absolutely amazing. Really, really excited for where this technology goes. So as it sits, Happier Right Now has said that their really their main goal here beyond just like these really cool videos is to actually generate uh, or to create AGI, um, which of course is the broad goal. This is the goal of OpenAI. So I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is just like, you kind of have to say you you have these massive mission statement if you wanna be able to raise money and if you wanna get like good talent working in your company or if it truly is their goal. But they say that they're aiming to use their funding to work towards building a artificial intelligence capable of understanding and reflecting a human-like comprehension of the world um, and enhancing AI's ability to generate realistic videos. So, I mean, it's a video generator, but they say they're trying to create AGI. I'm not sure where they're going to fall on this. In any case, they're doing an amazing job. And I think with the amount of money they've raised so far, this video that this video quality they've generated is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. I'll keep you up to date as the AI video wars unfold. I think we're gonna see some phenomenal new technology. And while there are some risks involved, I for one am incredibly excited to see where this goes because I think this is really the next big wave in AI and we're gonna see some absolutely incredible innovation.